Welcome back, fellow PokerTubers. This is my Pop 5 Series Pack opening. This should come at the end of my 300 plus EX Series Booster Pack opening. Uh, as you know, the Pop 5 Series Packs are extremely rare and hard to come across, but um, thanks to a friend I've worked with and made a deal with in the past, and for these ones, I picked up a hundred Pop 5 Packs, as you can see here. What you see in front of me is actually some of the packs I opened. I was trying to film it before, and my phone was dying, I was supposed to leave, and all sorts of stuff happened. Luckily, I did not pull a gold star, and I only opened 20-something packs so far. It's a 1 in 40 chance, so I did open some. Pulls were okay, um, but yeah, as you can see, I've got all these. Yeah, so um, make it rain with packs. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and continue opening these Pop 5 series packs for you guys. And I'm just going to upload this video because the last one was okay. It is a little boring, honestly. So, and I didn't have my coffee. So, while well, I go pick up some packs. Alright, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just continue opening these packs and hopefully I get some gold stars. Last time I opened up some Pop 5 packs, I pulled an Umbreon Gold Star, which got a Gym Mint 10. That one's in the background. Hoping to pull some more. I can get that Espeon. Pelipper. And... Meowth. Yeah, damn it. Okay, so yeah. Um, it's a 1 in 40 chance. I bought 100 packs. It uh, cost quite a bit. Um, but I got a good deal on the price. And some Pop 9 packs to make up for... Uh, you know, whatever pulls and grades I get. So, um, I do have an Espeon, which I picked up on eBay, and it got a 9. One little nick on the bottom, pretty good. I, I'm, I'm not going to resend it in. I'm fine with that, I'll get a 10 somewhere else. Pikachu and Pikachu. But I may, um, trade that Espeon and a few other cards to try to get a PSA 10 version from... Uh, Straw Hat Pokemon who just picked up the second, uh, or who just got the second um, Espeon PSA 10. So we'll see. I mean, but that one I was kind of hoping to trade or, um, you know, um, kind of trade give that one to um, Gold Star Pokemon and another Lugia. You get about one in every 10, 15 packs for a rare. So yeah, I mean, I was going to trade that one. I know he has a Rayquaza Gold Star. So I was going to offer up that one, because um, I have one too, and the PSA 9. So, you know, I was just going to offer up that one and the Espeon to try to get that PSA 10 Espeon. And, you know, he has a Rayquaza a second one. And, you know, something like that. Work it out, because he's at 26 of 27 as I'm filming this one. And SMG Quest has the other one, and that guy now has the second one. So... You know, help him get his because he's helped me get mine. Um, a few of the cards he's pointed, um, he's pointed it out on eBay, or you know, told me this guy's got it in this video or stuff like that. So he's helped me out quite a bit. Meowth and Pelipper. I'm down to in the 30s now. Packs open. So anyway, we'll see how that works out. I've still got, I can still pick up 280 more Pop 5 packs um, throughout the course of the next year. So I'm pretty sure I'll get some 10s. And I'll probably, you know, get that SB on. We'll see. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. And I'm not even close. I'm only at like 20 out of 27 gold stars that are PSA 10. So he's closer. Um, yeah. After my next PSA return, it should be even closer, but I'm I'm pretty sure I'll be missing that Trico and Latias. Those will be the hard ones to pick up. There's either two or three Latiases right now. And yeah. Those one, I don't know, for some reason D EX Deoxys was really um the printing was just it seems like there's not very many packs and not very many boxes compared to some of the other sets. And the gold stars just sell for a lot of money from those sets ungraded. And even greater, they sell more than um, they sell more than even the Charizard does, or the Charizard sells for. I need more coffee. 
Come on. Pikachu and Meowth. Yeah, I mean, these cards are definitely mint. Um, it's just a matter of luck if you get one that was printed pretty centered and no little notches on the back at all. So we'll see how it turns out for the grades. I am opening this one up on April 28th. When I load this one up, I have no idea when, but I'm going to try to send it to PSA before the month's out so I can get the special. Pack 46, man, I'm just unlucky today. I mean, regardless of what happens, I'll open up all the packs, but man, I have, I'm extremely unlucky. Boost energy. RCS definitely doesn't have any favor towards me right now. Pikachu and Ho oh, awesome. I think I had to buy this one last time because I didn't pick it up. Ho oh and a Mew. So considering how much the commons and rares go for, I think if I sell a set, I should be able to make 30 bucks back. <laughs> I think I'm still missing one card. Alright, Charmander and Pikachu. Alright, so that's 50 packs and no gold stars yet. I'm extremely unlucky. Right, that's at the top. Recently I did pick up two booster boxes. One opened, uh, EX Power Keepers, and that one turned out to be fake. I, it looked funny, and I knew it was probably fake, but I had to leave for work out of town for a week, so I was not so focused on that. So, luckily the guy did um, message me saying it was fake. I gotta get his address and ship it back, so I should get my 130 bucks back. And then the other box I bought was uh, Crystal Guardians, which if you saw the bought cards by mail one, you should see that it's pretty smashed up. So I've not been... Apparently my luck is running out. Pelipper. I wonder if it's possible to not get any gold stars in a hundred packs. If so, I will be the first person. Charmander and another Ho oh. Alright, some of these cards are looking a little off center. Pikachu. Ha ha, yeah. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna sleeve that thing. And Espeon Gold Star. Pretty good on the centering. On the back. Oh yeah. It looks absolutely perfect. So if that centering goes. Whew. On pack. What is that? I don't know. I'm like, look at that. I'm like, sh I'm almost shaking. Almost. Come on, get in there. Don't screw up. All right. So I pulled an Espeon now. And it looks pretty good, so we'll see if I can just not bend the card. It's easier for me to put this in the freaking card saver off camera. Because card savers are a little tricky. Alright, so there we go. An Espeon. Nice looking. The back. 
Yeah, this card this card is getting gym mint. No there's no freaking way that's not getting gym mint. I will I'll put some scans up, but yeah. That is gonna get gym mint. Alright. That is exciting. Woo! I don't know what pack I'm on. I was like on pack 50. That is why I bought 100 packs. So yeah. I could just stop now and sell the packs, but um, I probably won't because I look at it this way. If I buy the, the 380 packs or 400 that the person had left, then you know I'm taking the, I'm taking the odds out of the entire um, 400. So based on the 400, I should get about 10 gold stars You know, over the course of time opening them. So, yeah, I should, you know, I should get, um, you know, 10 gold stars. So if I open, if I were to say I got two um, in this, you know, obviously early on there's still a chance for more. But even at the end, it's like you're, you're taking the odds out of your overall 40. So I'm definitely not going to be selling any packs. <laughs> oh, crap. Check that out. Umbreon gold star. Woo! Nice. Oh yeah, this one is another awesome looking one. So yeah, <laughs> wow, that was pretty cool. I got like two back to back. Well, not back to back. That was like two packs in. Woo! All right. Come on, get in there. So yeah, this one looks like it should, it'll get a 9, but it looks like it, it might not get a 10. It doesn't have any notches on the back, but it has like a little tick on the side. So I'm at like, I don't know how many packs. I'm going to keep opening because I just got two right there. So that is awesome in the background. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm a little... Alright, what was I going to say? I don't remember. I don't even care right now. All I know is tomorrow is Tuesday. The next manga release of One Piece is out. I don't know. I just pulled two gold stars. Obviously, I paid for the pack, so... But yeah. Woo! I think... Um, I know Pokemon Master 556 has some cards that I want, so definitely not this not this round. Um, not this round, guy, but uh, maybe in the next round, if you keep those Latiases, I will definitely be... Um, interested in doing a trade for um, those Altomares, Latias, and Latios because I I should, after this PSA round, not this 240, but the 150 I'll be sending off this month will get me like 70-80% of, of the way completed with the VS series, so um, I definitely would like to get those to complete the VS set. I don't know if anybody else out there has completed it, um, including Altomares, Latias, and Latios for the hollows. Alright. Separate those. I'm not really anticipating any gold stars, but if I do, that is an awesome, um, that's awesome luck right there. Um, regardless of how many I get, I'm still going to pick up the other ones. So, uh, I don't know if... I'm not going to say the guy's name that I buy from, but um, another rare. Don't know if I have that one. I will definitely be picking up, no matter what the grades are, you know, if I get all 10s, or I get all the cards I need, I'm still going to be picking up the rest from you. Um, yeah, because guy's definitely awesome, worked out. There's a lot of trust. I mean, I had to, he had some problems with his PayPal, and I, you know, recently got scammed out of 1200 bucks from Spain. So, you know, I'm a little hesitant to... Um, Put any money out there. I did get my money back from the Spain one, but it was just a lot of hassle and just a lot of frustration. So I had to actually wire transfer the guy money. So basically, it's like it's like PayPal gifting him, you know, a lot of money. So a lot of trust had to be in there, and the guy definitely came through. And he's just he's awesome overall. I mean, some people have gotten pretty um, anal at me before for asking to ship certain ways because I've had people who like the Crystal Guardians box, just toss it in a padded envelope. Uh, what is it, Dominator Trading Cards? Horrible packing. I mean, like, the worst packing ever, you know? 
and Rainbow Energy, Meowth. Yeah, you know, I bought like 200 packs, EX packs from them, and just, they were just tossed in there. So just really bad, you know? And people just get mad at you for asking them, or they just ignore you and just send it again. Uh, I forget, somebody from Canada sent me a Charizard Plasma Storm, or Plasma Storm Charizard. I asked them to send it a certain way, and they said, I've been in business for so long, you know, how dare you question me? And I was like, can you put it in a top loader? Top loaders are $10 for my supplier over here. I'm like, you're kidding me, $10 for top loaders? That's absolutely ridiculous. So he sent it in an envelope, no padding, or, you know, just a sleeve, and no um, cardboard. So yeah, just horrible stuff like that, you know, it's like, well, obviously you don't know how to pack because you didn't pack correctly. And I think the card got a nine, but it was still, you know, pretty stupid that people just don't want to, you know, take advice. I mean, it sucks to someone to question you, especially if you've been in business for a while, but, you know, people discover stuff all the time. And it's just, it's frustrating when you get cards that are, you know, look like good condition or they could have been perfect, but they came back different because somebody just wants to do things their way instead of, you know, learning to pack safely or spend a little bit extra time packing. Sometimes it's even cheaper or less of a hassle, but yeah. By the way, just me rambling on. Coffee's kicking in. I'm excited. Two gold stars. Maybe three. We'll see. I'm like 50-50 right now. I was at pack 60, so technically I still had 40 packs, you know, kind of to go. So my odds should be good. But I always seem to pull the gold stars after 50 packs. So... Around 50 packs. Charmeleon. Zangoose. We've got maybe 35 packs left. So hopefully still a gold star. Pikachu. Pikachu. Pretty sure my camera will last this time. I had it at 35%. Last time I filmed I opened like 25 packs and I was at started at 10% while having it charged and it just crapped out at 5. So I think I'll be good for now. Pikachu. Pelipper. I think I might even grade a complete Pop 5 set. Because I'm pretty sure I'll get what I need in all the packs, but I think it'd be cool to grade it and have a complete Pop 5 PSA 10. It's only 17 cards, and there's some pretty cool cards in it anyway. Sangoose, Pikachu. Oh, there goes that. Come on, Gold Star. Charmeleon, Pelipper, alright, Meowth, Bill's Maintenance, 25 more. Pikachu, and Rainbow Energy. I think there's a hollow promo. I'm debating. I have a Pop Series five or Pop Series and alternate promos, non-hollow and hollow version binder. And I'm debating on whether I should pick up the alternate hollows for the pro for the Pop Series because I know there's the ones for it and there's the ones that are hollow. So debating on picking some of those up kind of expensive like the uh, pop 5 series promo ones come from boxes and those are pretty rare so those are like 10 15 bucks each in good condition so we'll see one of these days i'll show you guys my collection 
It's not yet complete, not overall, but um, the different sections aren't yet complete. Missing like one card from Wizards of the Coast promo, some Nintendo promos, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and yeah, those are like 70% complete. And the black and white is missing like three or four cards. Pikachu and Pikachu. There's a lot of Pikachus in this one. Boost energy. Oh, that's kind of bent. Oh, well, thank God there's nothing in that one. Alright, this is pack 74. Alright, Meowth. Charmander. 25 left. And I get something in the last pack. Okay. Zangoose, Pelper, Open. The, uh, I'm not really good at editing, but hopefully that background right there gets to be the little thumbnail. Alright, this is 76. Charmander, Charmeleon. Meowth, Pikachu, Charmander, Pikachu. Bill's Maintenance, Pikachu. Round 20 packs left, come on, one more gold star. Let's see if it can happen. Pikachu, Boost Energy, Coffee Break. All right. What am I at? Like 23 minutes? Damn, this is a long video. Yeah, I think in the last one I mentioned that um, I should be getting a different job so I won't be traveling out of town, but I will be working uh, more. But I do have um, a bunch of videos saved. So hopefully by the time summer ends, school and... Um, what is it? School and uh, work should... Um, have me pretty preoccupied for a while so I will be uploading videos and hopefully around summertime I'll have a bunch of um, a bunch more pack openings and updates on stuff I mean I'll do my PSA returns and my PSA submissions but I mean um, yeah in the next month I'll, I'll try to add some more videos to add to my what is it my hard drive to kind of upload for you guys Pelper Pikachu Pikachu and Pelper again. At least get me a Mew. We got one, two, three, four, five, 
It's almost about one in ten packs as a rare, including the gold stars. Pelipper, Meowth. One more, come on. Charmander, ho oh, oh, there we go, another rare. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are like, they say 1 in 40, but I feel like it's more like 1 in 50, 1 in 55. Gold stars per pack, or per packs. Because I think I've opened, I opened 51 last time, I opened 100 now. And I opened like 6 before, so that's 3 gold stars in like 150 something packs. Yeah, that's a lot. Pikachu. Down to the last... Five packs. I'm glad what I got so far, but to make it even better, it'd be nice to get one more. Meowth. Ha ha, yeah! There we go. Another gold star. Definitely worth opening those packs. A little off center. But everything is still nice. This will definitely get a 9 right here. This one will definitely get a 9. Same kind of stuff on the Umbreon. On the other Umbreon. But um, I think that with the centering and the little thing on the back. This one will probably get a 9. Um, I might actually send this one in with um, Silver Snorlax I think. So yeah. Check that out. Alright and 4 more packs. I'm not going to stop. 3... Three in a in a hundred, so my odds are actually a little better. See, that's what you get. You talk talk trash about yourself, say your odds are bad, bad luck, and then look what happens. Pull of like reverse psychology on the packs. Obviously, that doesn't change. It's not like they're like a, a video game where it's rotating in here and until you open it. it what is it, like uh, God of War when you're opening the chest and they're going back and forth between health and life and you got to time it right? Yeah. Kind of helps out to think like that. I definitely was debating on selling the last 25 packs. Pelipper. And Bill's Maintenance. Alright, now time for the last, very last pack. It's been an epic one so far. Three gold stars and ten packs. Or a hundred packs. Three gold stars and ten packs. That would be pretty epic. But, um, yeah, so far, definitely awesome. Definitely worth it. I'm glad I uh, took the chance on this. Charmander and Pikachu. So, overall, it was definitely worth it. I'm extremely happy about that. Um, you guys saw plenty of the commons and uncommons repeats over and over again. I'm just going to go over the rares and the gold stars. So, Ho-Oh, Double Rainbow Energy, Lugia, Lugia again, Ho-Oh, and another Ho-Oh. No Mew, but I do have one. I believe I pulled one or two so far. I sold one. And then in the background, as you see, I have two Umbreons and one Espeon and then the two graded ones in the background. So overall I'm extremely happy with this. I look forward to getting these graded, getting a 10 on that Espeon hopefully you know if all goes well and I'll keep buying more of these so you guys will definitely see more videos of these in the future. Um, to some of the people looking forward to some of these um, you know hopefully I can work out a deal and get that gold star 10 towards gold star hopefully this video doesn't come out until that deal either goes through or doesn't go through or he makes a deal himself and then Pokemon Master 556 I will have an Umbreon to kinda help get me some of those Tyranitars and Alto Mares so thank you guys for watching long video hopefully you guys stay to the end to see all the um, awesome pulls and thank you guys for watching